celebration of praise. We're so glad to have you all along again this week. Uh, we've got a beautiful worship service for you. Uh, we have our singers along again, Julia Dawson, Noah, Hannah, Charlie, and Nicholas, and they're here to bring us some beautiful music. Uh, we have a Bible reading from Lauren Foley, and also Kelsey Fifield is feeling much better, and we're happy to say he's back and is going to be doing our story for us this time. Uh, our home activity is going to be a picnic treat. We're trying to think about the things that we can do outside these days since the weather is a bit warmer. And we have Isabella and Dawson Murphy are going to be teaching us how to make a treat for our picnics. And prayers are brought to us today from Parker and Connor and from Robin Pedden. So we're all so happy to have all of those guys along. And uh, so we want you to join in with us, sing, have some fun, worship God, and remember everybody in prayer. Thank you for joining. Dear God, you created the perfect world for us to live in. You created life in all forms and in brilliant colors to fill this beautiful world. We thank you for the joy these have given us. We ask you for forgiveness for those who have wrongfully used this world. Forgive those who have not used the world according to your purpose. Help us to correct the mistakes and learn how to better care for your creations. We ask this in your name. Amen. The heavens and the earth were finished and filled with life. On the seventh day, God rested from his work and all that he had made. God blessed the seventh day and made it a holy day, because on that day he had rested. This is how the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, and every plant before it was in the earth, and every tree of the field before it grew. And when God made man, a mist had gone up from the earth and had watered the whole surface of the ground. The Lord God had formed man of the dust of the ground, and had breathed into him the breath of life, and man had become a living soul. It's interesting to look at the globe of the earth. Can you find where we live on the globe? The earth keeps spinning as it has ever since the earth was created. The very first words in the Bible tell us that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Then the Bible goes on to tell us about God's creations. The first thing God created was light. The Bible tells us that he said, let there be light. And there was light. And God said it was good. Then God said, there needs to be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters on the earth. So God made a space to separate the earth from the heavens. He called it sky. And God said it was good. Next, God brought all the waters of the earth together to make the oceans and the seas and to create dry land between them. Then he covered the dry land with flowers, trees, and grass. And God said it was good. God paused looked at the beautiful trees and the flowers and said, it was good. He created the sun, moon, and stars. They were beautiful. God looked at them and again he said, it was good. Then God created the birds and the fish. He blessed them and told them to multiply so that the sea would be filled with fish of all shapes and sizes and the air would be filled with beautiful birds. God looked at them, smiled, and said, it was good. Finally, God made the animals, tall, skinny giraffes, and furry little squirrels. He made cuddly little kittens and big, ferocious lions, animals of every kind. Then God made man and woman. The Bible says he made people to be like him, and he put them in charge of all that he had created, the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and every living creature. And God said it was good. When God had finished, he looked at all that he had created, and he said, 
That is very good. Hi there, today I am going to show you how to make a picnic treat called Strawberry Brownie Skewers. The things that you will need are skewers, strawberries, brownies, marshmallows, and chocolate sauce. So this is how you make them. You take a skewer and you face your strawberry down to the pointy part and you feed it all the way to about here. And then you take a marshmallow and you stick it on, and then a brownie. And then another strawberry. And then you lay it on a plate, and then you drizzle chocolate sauce. And here's your picnic treat. Fold your hands, close your eyes, and let us pray. Dear Jesus, create us in a new heart as your Father created the world. As we follow your way, help us to become more like you. Show us the path to righteousness as we walk in your way. Help us to be an example of love to others as we help mend your broken world. May we be the answer to someone's prayer in your name and show your face in all we do. Amen. We hope you're enjoying our program so far and enjoying taking part in our worship with us. Uh, just a few reminders that we will be coming along again next week at uh, 12 o'clock with our celebration of praise and it's a very special edition next week because we're going to be doing graduation Sunday we started that last year we had a beautiful service at our church with our grade 12 and our kindergarten graduates and this year we're going to be doing virtually online so we will be featuring our graduates if you know of any graduates and you uh, that we that we may not have been in contact with yet Please uh, let us know if they're graduating kindergarten or grade 12. We want to feature them in our, in our worship service, so we appreciate their names. Uh, have an enjoyable week, and uh, hopefully we'll see you all again. also want to remind you that we'll also be celebrating graduating Sunday, graduation Sunday in our 1030 church service. So our graduates are going to get a lot of attention next week. So please come along and join us next week in our service. We'll see you then. There is a
Our Father who art in heaven, how will it be thy name? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Happy Sunday, everybody! We'd like to thank you once again for taking the time to join us for our weekly celebration of praise and showing our young people your support for providing us with this ministry. They continue to do a fantastic job from week to week. A special thanks this week to Julia Dawson and Noah, Hannah, Charlie, and Nicholas Dawson for the beautiful music. To Parker Lynch, Robin Petten, and Connor Lynch, for leading us in prayers, to Kelsey Fifield for sharing the word with us, and Isabella and Dawson Murphy for showing us how to make those yummy treats. We hope you can join us all again next week for another celebration of praise. To end off our service, we'll close with another favorite from BB BBS, to God be the glory. Hope you all have a great week and continue to stay safe. Bye!